GT Online on next gen may run at a buttery smooth 60 frames per second. However, there are still quite a few rough edges that need to be sorted out because with the transfer over to PS5 and Xbox Series X, many new bugs and issues have shown up. And in today's video, I'm going to address some of the most common and most impactful ones that I've seen both from my own experience and from what I've been hearing from you guys in various comment sections. Also, I'm not going to be talking about God mode or anything like that because those glitches existed back on the last generation consoles. This video, I just want to cover the issues with next gen specifically. So let's start out with the first bug that I personally ran into on next gen, missing contacts in my phone. After transferring my character, I noticed that on my phone where there is supposed to be a bunch of player names, there's just a bunch of blank slots with nothing there. Even worse though, I'm also just missing general contacts that I had back on last gen before transferring. Tony, for example, from the Nightclub DLC is just not there. Same with English Dave, LJT, my assistant. They're either completely missing altogether or they're just blank spots in my phone. So when I get calls or texts, it shows up as null or just a blank slate with a text. It looks really off. So I don't know if something messed up during the transfer process, but hopefully they can fix it in the next patch because it kind of breaks the immersion because the phone is something that you literally can't turn off. It's a crucial part of GT Online, so it needs to work right. Keeping with the phone, this one is small but still noticeable. If you go to the internet on the phone, even if you are playing on one of the performance modes at 60fps, the internet app still plays at 30fps if you use the cursor with your analog stick to move around. If you use the d-pad to move up and down, you'll notice it's much smoother. For some reason, that plays at 60 frames, but when you use the cursor with your analog stick, it plays at a choppy 30 FPS. Like I said, it's not that big of a deal, but ideally, if I'm playing on performance mode, I'd want the entire game to be playing at a smooth frame rate, and this is just an inconsistency to that. A bug that was a pretty big deal that is now fixed was the exotic export cards being broken. Basically what would happen is you get into one of these exotic export cards and your minimap would just turn this really bright white color and it made it really hard to see where you were going. And no matter what you did to turn the car in at the docks, you just couldn't do it. They were completely busted. But I'm happy to say that ever since yesterday when Rockstar put out a background update, this has been fixed. So I figured I would just include that information in this video because I was going to mention this bug either way. In your agency, you may or may not have noticed that your trophies will disappear upon entering a session. This happened to me, I was walking around my agency and I noticed that all of my decorations were missing and that it looked like I just moved in or I just bought the property. Like there were boxes and stuff on the floor, nothing was on the wall. However, if you go and complete a security contract, everything will return to how it was, so it's not the biggest issue in the world, it's just another one of those things where it's just annoying to look at because you go through all that trouble getting those rewards only to have it bug out and disappear. Some players have reported that their Kasatka fast travel now costs 10,000 when it used to cost them 2,000. And if you don't know, it's supposed to cost 2,000 after you complete a Kayapriko heist for the first time. I'm assuming this is another issue related to the character transfer. I checked my submarine myself to see if I had this issue, and I still have the $2,000 cost of fast travel, so I guess it's not something that happens all the time with every single person that transferred. But yeah, it's still a problem that needs to be addressed. A rather big problem is the fact that for whatever reason, 95% of the unique aircraft minimap icons just don't exist anymore on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. Normally, if someone was in a pyro, for example, flying around, you could pause your game, look at the map, and you'd see a specific pyro icon so that other players would know what aircraft it is that's flying around. It was a very helpful indicator to help players out and kind of let them know what to expect if they see a certain aircraft icon coming towards them. Well, if we look at my friend Mastermind and the pyro here, if you go and look at the map, you could see it has the same icon as a normal plane doesn't have that unique pyro icon. So the pyro now has the same icon as a non-weaponized titan, for instance. And the same issue happens for helicopters as well. The hunter, for instance, has its own unique icon. However, it now just displays the original helicopter icon. And on top of that, it's not just those two aircraft either. We went through and tested all of the personal aircraft that we could think of, and the following aircraft now display either a regular plane icon or a regular helicopter icon. The Starling, Pyro, Hunter, Jetpack, Akula, Havoc, Volatile, Mogul, Nakoda, Alpha Z1, Seabreeze, Rogue, Ultralight, Tula, Maltok, Bambushka, and the Howard. Those all will display either the regular old aircraft icon or a regular old spinning helicopter icon. The only ones that still show their unique aircraft icon are the B-11, the Alkanos, Stealth Annihilator, Sea Sparrow, and the Sparrow. And if you notice on that list, the ones that are bugged with no icon were all released in the Doomsday Heist or prior to that, and the ones that still work were all released after that. I can't imagine this lasting for long, and I can't imagine it being intended either, so it should be fixed in the next update, which hopefully comes out before the summer update. A bug fix patch would be appreciated to sort out some of the more annoying issues here and there. Moving into some issues with sound, these are two very big ones I would say. First of all, I believe this issue is only on Xbox. Let me know in the comments if you guys on PS5 have experienced this. 
but the radio audio just completely breaks if you're in a party chat. Look at this clip here, you can hear the radio perfectly fine before I enter the party, but the moment that I join a party and go back into the game, you hear nothing. Sits together and they do not agree with each other, and now they have murders hey, and damn your ball? ass diarrhea. We cleanse it every day. I usually have the music volume turned all the way down when I play, so this really doesn't affect me that much. But if I wasn't a YouTuber who had to dodge copyright claims and I was just chilling with my friends in a party, I would want the radio to work. So I could definitely see the annoyance with it. Arguably even more annoying than that though, is this bug with the siren audio. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed this. Whenever you get cops, the moment the police car spawn in on the map, it immediately sounds like they're just right behind you despite them being like three blocks away on the map. It is really distracting and really annoying and it's made me take an extra look or two on my map when I hear the audio because it sounds like I have to be ready to take them out. I have to be ready for a gunfight. When in actuality, they're like three blocks away and I have plenty of time. And instead of explaining it, let me just let you guys take a listen to what I'm talking about here. So there's going to be two clips to play. The first one is of the bugged audio on next gen and the second one is on last gen so you can hear the difference in the siren sound. It's almost like there's just no sense of distance to the sound of the siren sound on next gen. I'm not sure if it's part of the 3D audio or whatever they did with the sound. It just doesn't sound right though and has thrown me off multiple times hearing it. Anyways, those are some common bugs and issues with the next gen expanded enhanced versions of GTA Online. I know there are probably many more out there that I didn't mention, but these were by far the most common ones that I've seen throughout the comment sections and my own personal experiences so far. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more content. I want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support if you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks. You can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.